Hey guys, what's up? RJ here back in this video and in this video we're gonna be talking about how you can use StreamYard for putting up your pre-recorded video as live using StreamYard. So if, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel over there and be sure to smash the like button and let's talk about it. So if you really don't know, like in the past, like I created a video, you can check that out, which was around the software, which is called OneStream Live. If you don't know what OneStream Live does, you know, it helps you to push up the pre-recorded video you have and uh, publish it as a live video. Can we do that? Now, one of the few reasons why you do it is either you're not confident of doing the videos live or let's say your time schedule is not perfect so then you pre-record the video and then you know push it live let's you're traveling or you just don't want to do it live you just pre-record it and push it as live so today we're going to talk about how you can use StreamYard to use a pre-recorded feature that they just came up you know use a pre-recorded feature and push up your pre-recorded video as a live stream in StreamYard so let's go to the screen this particular feature out there and I started to love it because it helps me to eliminate all of the other software obviously i had the lifetime access of one stream live but it still helped me to not go to that one stream live software and do the pre-recorded video and push it as live from the stream yard itself which is pretty good so when you log into your stream yard if you haven't got your stream yard account yet the link is in the comment section down below or also in the description just go get your free uh, stream yard access uh, so that you can get your streamer account up and running so apart from that what you need to do is over here you just need to go over create a broadcast so when you go to create a broadcast option you you're gonna see multiple options to it so you can see like a new broadcast and you can see like use pre-recorded video okay so in this case obviously we're talking about how to use pre-recorded video and publish it as live what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for use pre-recorded video the other option comes up is either like what is the place that you want to bro broadcast to for example if i choose my facebook profile okay and then after i chose my facebook profile itself it give me option to select the recording okay now there are actually two ways to do it if i have done any past broadcast on StreamYard itself it allows me to pick up the previous videos that i've used or i've live streamed or like i used it as a pre-recorded version so it allows me either to choose any of the videos that i've done on StreamYard itself or it allows me to upload a video so in this case we're gonna upload a video just for the sake of it or we could choose let's choose the past broadcast because the uploading is gonna take a lot of time but the process is actually the same they are uh, not like super constrained to it we're gonna talk about what are the constraint that streamer have in general but uh, let's go to the past broadcast and let's pick up uh, okay let's choose this okay how to create wealth in your business by Shikiri Zen. Okay, once we're gonna choose our okay, we're still generating that recording. Let's upload it. Let's upload a mini clip out there uh, from our computer itself. Okay, so I'm gonna upload my intro. Okay, which is my interviews intro, or you could say let's choose this video. So I'm just gonna go in and choose this video out there, and I'm gonna just choose it. It's gonna obviously get uploaded, and let's get back after it. The video gets uploaded. Once the video have been uploaded out there. The next thing what you need to do is just go back and the video have since the video has already been uploaded the next step for you is actually choose your title choose your description and apart from that choose the start time you know for example if you're uploading this pre-recorded video when this is gonna be published as live so you just your, choose your date choose your time and everything out there and you know obviously choose your title and your just description and if you want to even like schedule it as an announcement board so that people can go and understand like hey or realize hey you know we have to be uh you know say yes to an event and we're gonna be joining an event or we're gonna get notified when it's gonna get live so you can be like okay schedule an announcement post and then you have an option for add an uploaded thumbnail image and then it allows you to to have multiple options one is actually when the live the pre-recorded live is gonna stream and then when is gonna be the time when the announcement post is gonna show up on the social media that you have selected let's say it's Facebook or YouTube so you actually choose one of those options out there and then what actually gonna happen is the announcement post gets created and apart from that when whatever the desired time that you've chosen over here according to that particular time uh, the video gets rolled out as live 
So we just we just recorded or we just used the pre-recorded video and published it as live without using any sort of additional softwares out there, which is awesome. It's awesome. So if we talk about the pricing out there right now for the free plan in StreamYard, it doesn't allow in StreamYard's free plan to push up pre-recorded video or to schedule pre-recorded video as live. But the other two plans that StreamYard have, which is the basic plan, which costs like $25 per month or the professional plan, which costs $49 per month, both of them allows you to have to use these pre-recorded uh, live streams in StreamYard itself. So in the $25 per month plan, you can have one hour of pre-recorded video, push it as live. Whereas in professional plan, you could have like two hours of video and push it as live. I think so, like even using one hour is pretty good, you know. They are like, depending upon like where you are in your business or like how you use live stream. For me, like I use it, I or I use StreamYard mostly for my interviews. So for me, most of the interviews don't exceed one hour. So if I wanna, even if I wanna exceed, or even if, if I wanna, pre-record the video it's probably gonna be under one hour most of the time it's under one hour so I'm pretty good with it and if I want to pre-record that video and push it as live I'm good to go with using the basic plan and that's actually the plan I'm using right now so if you're someone out there who who's like okay I, I pre-record more than one hour of video then obviously professional plan is absolutely for you and if you are like oh you know all of my videos are under one hour and i can pre-record it and push it as live then the basic plan is for you so the link is gonna for the stream is gonna be in the description down below and also in the comment section just go get stream yard i use it every single time i love it this was the review of how to schedule a pre-recorded video as live using stream yard so if you have liked the video be sure to like the video there and i'm definitely gonna see you guys in the next one